Hi everyone, I'm Lauren from Single Barrel Soaps and today I am working on the second of my um, soap inspired by <laughs> It's a Wonderful Life. So I took the bell mold my dad had made me I think a year or two ago and I just um, coated each of the bells. I used rubbing alcohol and a gray mica with some glitter in it just because I want them to stand out. Now there's a good chance when I pour this in it'll wash it out but that's okay and for this one i am going to do a black and white theme or gray and white i don't really want black <laughs> um but do a gray and white theme with a little bit of sparkle on the top um for every time a bell rings and angel gets its wings so i'm actually going to spray a little more glitter on the top maybe yeah because I, apparently i can never have enough glitter um just to make it give it a little more happiness for me <laughs> a little rainbow okay all right so let's get started all right i just wanted emulsion um so then i can get my other colors in let's move that to the side and i'm just doing two different grays um and then the rest is white. I just want a little bit of depth, but I'm kind of doing a play. You know, this is the black and white one and the other one is um, really bright and colorful. That doesn't mean this is kind of a sad one. I just wanted, you know, a nod to the black and white movie that my dad made fun of me about. <laughs> in our other video, I was asking him what color the flowers are, you know, in real life for my other mold. He's like, it's a black and white movie. I'm like, I know dad. I was asking another question. <laughs> so I thought this would be a cute little nod to him, especially since he's the one that makes all my molds. All right, let's clean up. And then I'm gonna do a ton of white in here. Let's just dump the whole thing in. There we go, I have a refill for that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the satin gray pillowcase. We're gonna do a bunch of that too. I can have more, I don't want it too, too dark. Oh, wait. And then a little bit of Wicked. That'll just be a little hint. All right, let's get these mixed up. I always add the fragrance oil in if I can, if it, it's a well-behaving fragrance, fragrance oil with my stick blender, but usually I don't do it so early. But when I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl and I don't want all the colors to kind of run together. I do want them to stay um, a little bit separate so you can just see different shades, but it is thickening up nicely. So I'm gonna pour a little here, a little here. And it is, yeah, it's definitely thickening up. So I'm gonna move my bum a little faster. Pouring from a little higher up so I can go all the way through. Let's just scrape that. What'd you find, my love? Oh, yay! You found Star Lord and Hulk. Yay! See what happens when you clean up? Yeah. Yeah. And I can fight them there, I think. Yeah, go tell them thank you for helping you find that. I'm gonna swirl that. Ooh, that is nice and thick. Okay, I'm just gonna start pouring. I'm gonna pour whew, just from the one side and hope that it doesn't, I don't think it will. Oh, that's nice. And these are gonna be nice size bars. All right, let me. Scrape this out. That could not have gone better. That was amazing. All right, so let's hope uh, everything unmolds well tomorrow. I'm gonna scrape everything out and tap it down. And then I will put this away to rest for the night. Oop, there we go. try to make these as even as possible, but I'm telling you, I feel like nothing is straight in my room or level. 
All right, so I'm gonna tap it down a bit and then put it to the side. So I'll be back tomorrow. And I'm glad I painted them with the mica and added sparkle. Oh, I love these. All right, so I'm gonna clean up the edges and I'll bring you back on top. Okay, we are back and I am going to cut this, but I, I really have I painted it. I love how this turned out. I kind of like the juxtaposition of the black and white and the silver bells and then the really bright um, Zuzu's Petal Soap. So I am gonna clean this up a little bit and I'm gonna start cutting slabs. So I will, I think, fast forward this part, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna use this. Okay, we got this. where I kind of paused. That's awesome. Really wish I knew how, <laughs> but I have to rewatch the video of how I made this. Perfect. And then I'll just cut those down. But look at that, it's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, we're back to cut these and I'm just gonna take a little off the edge and then hope that all my measurements were correct. All right, let's hope. <laughs> let's hope, all right. <sighs> let's see. Yes, yes they were. Oh, I am so excited about this set. This is perfect. You know, I feel like a lot of what ends up being my favorite products or my favorite designs happen kind of spur of the moment. This was spur of the moment for me. I guess the other mold was not spur of the moment for my dad because <laughs> he'd been working on it for a while, but um, it was spur of the moment for me. All right, so I am going to flip this because I did misjudge, I think. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna take a little off this edge. So yeah, like I said before, this is one of our older molds um, and we've since tweaked um, the spacing. Um, we moved all the designs over. So instead of two small samples, we get one larger one. Um, and we also tweaked it so they fit um, inside the silicone liner which isn't, I mean, lining the molds is not a big deal, but it just gives, um, it just saves a little extra time, which right now I will take all the time saving I can get. Oh, oh, I love this. I love these, these look so good. And I'm glad I added a little sparkle. Um, I know I've been doing that all season, but because I was trying to mimic the black and white design, um, I really did want a little sparkle. Okay, I think I remember what we did with this. Okay. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Let's see. It's so pretty. And I always love, I love giving um, samples with every order. And around Christmas time, um, I tend to go a little overboard on samples, but I mean, who doesn't love like a free gift and it gives people, especially because I'm not doing shows this year, a chance to smell everything in person. Oh, these are good. And these are, once again, good size bars. So I made these to match um, the Zuzu's petals and they will go in one of my gable boxes. Um, 
I'll put a video, I'll, I'll put a picture at the end of this video of um, the final product. Let's see, we're gonna do the same thing. With the, um, the two soaps together and the box that they'll go in. And this was good because I usually in my gable boxes, I have a small soap and then I have a um, sugar scrub, a mini sugar scrub and a mini whipped body butter. But this year I had so much trouble finding containers, finding lids um, that I've completely run out. So this was kind of the perfect, this definitely was the perfect solution to that because I love the little gable boxes. I think they make great little presents. They're adorable. Um, but I didn't want to just put like one soap in it. And I think this set is perfect. So I am going to keep cutting away. I might, um, I'll probably just leave the camera running because why not? <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to ramble during this one um, like I did on the Zuzu's Petals video. But who knows? Honestly with me, you never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed, ooh, ouch, watching these. I really love how these turned out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.